You want me to go out? I so want me to go out. Then you want me to go far? What's good, Bulls Nation? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Mike B. Here to talk some Bulls basketball. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys my my reasoning why I believe Kobe White has earned a new contract for the Chicago Bulls. The only way I can see Kobe White not on this team is somehow the Bulls find a way to to make a huge trade, like a another superstar type of trade. But if not, I believe Kobe White should be brought back by the Chicago Bulls. First off, last season. I was always on Kobe White because I seen the potential in him. I, last year, I said he was too inconsistent. I said his handles could be better. I said he was a liability um, on defense, and the only reason why you can play him in the game if he's knocking down shots. If not, he cannot be played. And I feel like fast forward, fast forward into now, Kobe White looked at me and slapped the dog shit out of me, and I feel like he improved on every aspect that I was getting him, getting on him last season. Inconsistent, you can't really, you can say that about anybody when it comes to shooting the ball. It's going to be nice where he two for seven, three from 12. It's just shooters got to shoot to try to find a rhythm. So I can't really um, harp on Kobe White for nights like that. But now, if he have a night like that, he playing good enough defense where he can stay in the game and, co and continue to impact the game with the defense. I feel like Kobe White is probably the most improved player on this team. Um, The so I was probably probably say top three best defenders on this team outside of maybe Caruso, Patrick Williams, Patrick Beverly. I feel like Kobe White is right there with those guys. Um, so he can he can play games if he's not uh productive on the uh offensive side of thing, which you know that that that's you could say that's a, a future two way player. The handles is beautiful. I feel like he don't turn the ball over as much. Only averaging point nine turnovers. Uh, that's his best in his four years uh, in the NBA. So he's and he's more than the spot up shooter. You've seen plenty of times Kobe put that ball on the floor to try to make a crossover and attack the basket. And I love that Kobe White being aggressive. Uh, if it, when his shots not falling, he's taking it to the uh, to the rack, and he's not turning that ball over. So Kobe White has shown that he's willing to improve and every category of his game so i believe that is the should be the reason why the bulls re-sign him and if you look at his numbers average you might say but mike he only averaging nine points per game well his minutes is down from last year from 27 minutes to 22 minutes so i, I feel like he's sharing minutes with a lot of guys that to be real, he can do the same thing plus more. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Javante Green. He brings energy. But Kobe White right now can do more than Javante Green. His ceiling is way higher than Javante Green on both sides of the ball. I love Caruso. But I feel like learn long term, uh, Kobe White is a better fit because his ceiling is way higher than Caruso. To me, I feel like Caruso already peaked. We know what Caruso is. He's not getting any better on the offensive side of things. Yes, I love what he do on the offensive side of things, but I feel like Kobe White is showing that he can play defense and and why it should be taken into consideration this offseason whether or not um, we should try to find, you know, why Caruso value is high? Maybe trying to find a deal for Caruso and get that money to um Kobe White because Kobe White is only twenty three years old. He still got a ton of room to improve, and he brings the same thing Caruso and Javante Green plus more on the offensive side of things. You know, I know those guys bring toughness, but man, at the end of the day, it's all about. Uh, scoring buckets and Kobe White can get buckets. And then when you look at Ayo Dusumu, those two guys as my uh reserve guards, I feel a lot better. Uh, giving those guys way more minutes and because they still young and need room to improve. And I feel like with 
Damn Sharon minutes with Caruso, Javante Green. I I I already signed Pat Bells for you know locker room things, but Sharon minutes with other guy other guards, I feel like it's really stopping us from seeing more from those guys because we have seen time and time again Kobe White be in for five minutes, he'll go 0 for two, and then Billy a uh, uh, yank him out and throw in Caruso, Caruso. And Caruso, granted, would do the same thing Kobe White was doing. You know, Kobe White playing good defense, Caruso playing good defense, but Kobe White can give me 15 plus on any given night. Caruso. He won't. He can't give me fifteen plus. So just like we need, what's the purpose of splitting minutes with Kobe White can do the same thing Caruso can do. So that's why I believe Kobe White is more valuable to this team, and I believe he should uh, get uh, a new contract from the Bulls. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Am, am I crazy for thinking that? You know, I've been watching Kobe White this season. I, I'm loving what I'm seeing for Kobe White, and maybe he got me. But I down that hill, man. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Do you guys agree or disagree? Um, like always, Bulls Nation, stay blessed, stay safe. Peace out.